people who aren't aware, there's a location in the Western Sahara Desert of Mauritania called the Rishat Structure. It's also commonly referred to as the Eye of the Sahara. It is a site that most people have never seen or heard of before, which is truly peculiar because it's so spectacular. It's a site that uh, astronauts typically use to reference from space. It is a geological feature that is said to be volcanic in nature. And what's so spectacular about this is that it just so happens to match more than a dozen striking similarities to what Plato had described as the lost ancient capital city of Atlantis. There's so much that points to that possibly being Atlantis. It's spectacular. So just to run down real quick, Plato had described Atlantis as being the capital. Let me just mention that because it was an empire said to be made up of 10 kingdoms. And what I'm focusing on is the lost capital city, which was said to be made up of concentric circles, three of water, two of land, which matches the Rishat structure. It also was said to have an opening to the sea at the south. And if you look at it from satellite imagery, you can clearly see that water had ran through it. And furthermore, it was said to have mountains to the north. And you just so happen to have mountains called the Atlas Mountain Chain, which... Atlas was said to be the very first king of Atlantis. And what's interesting is that the very first known king of Mauritania, which is where the Rishat structure is located, is also their very first known king was also named Atlas. Like there's geological similarities, such as the fact that Atlantis was said to be made up of red, black and white color stone, which is another similarity you see at the Rishat structure. Um, it was said to have an abundance of gold and that the outer walls were lined with it. And it turns out that Mauritania is loaded with gold. And not only that, the richest person ever known to exist in all of mankind is Mansa Musa of the Mali Empire, which consisted partly of modern day Mauritania. And he was so rich from gold that he would be richer than Elon Musk and like Bezos combined almost. But another little detail that most people aren't aware of because they think of Atlantis like, oh, it must be at the bottom of the ocean. Well, that's not exactly how Plato worded it. He did describe that the aftermath of Atlantis followed a catastrophic event involving water is that, is that what was left of Atlantis was reeds of grass and a shoal of mud that prevented ships from navigating to and from. And what people don't realize is that Sahara Africa up until about 4,500 to 5,000 years ago was totally green. It was tropical. It had the largest network or one of the largest networks of rivers ever known to exist. It had the largest freshwater lake ever known to exist, which is Mega Lake Chad, which just to put this into perspective, it is if you take all the North American Great Lakes combined, that's 94,000 square miles of surface area, whereas Mega Lake Chad was 139,000. Uh, Atlantis, the capital, was said to have a river that went just north of it or next to it. And the Taman Rasat River went right through the Rishat structure or just north of it, went all the way to the Atlas Mountains that I described, which is in modern day Morocco. Um, and the evidence is that it existed at that same period of time when Atlantis was said to be around 11,600 years ago prior to its destruction up until about 5,000 years ago. So going back to my point, like a lot of people see the Sahara Desert and they don't realize that this place was unbelievably different than it is today.